evening, everybody. My name is Ed. I'm here at the Shaftesbury Select Board. I call this meeting of the Shaftesbury Select Board in order at 6 30 on Monday, September 20th. First of all, the business is there anybody that has a conflict of interest with the agenda show? No. 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 Yes, September 2nd. Um, you were at the meeting, Ken uh, and Joe and Mike. We were all there. Mm -hmm. okay. Entertain a motion to accept the meeting. It's in minutes is published. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. If you could sign them as, as co chair of Tony, that would be great. Yeah. So, warrants? Yes, what do we have for warrants? We have a warrant uh, number eight for seventy-one thousand eight hundred and forty-eight dollars and eighty-nine cents. Do I have a motion? So move. Second. Okay, over a thousand there is Sullivan PLLC for Okay. That's for thirteen hundred and twenty. And then we have Tam another seven thousand two hundred eleven. That's the services. Uh, we have Weaver uh, Excavation, 1472. That's the balance, right? Um, and we have Daily at 2731. 2700 or 27,000? 2700. Okay. Um, Affleck, that's uh, 1044. And um, uh, BCBS Vermont. For 80, 8,417. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, Caterpillar Finance, eleven thousand nine hundred thirty-two dollars. Yeah. What do you say? That's the first annual payment. Payment. Dave, I thought that was was paid to be one just paid for. I didn't know that was financed. Yeah, this one was financed in half. The other one was the grant of the state. The most was the grant of the state. I didn't understand it. Well, I'll have to see you later, Dave. I can't understand it. Okay. Okay, low fuels at 1140, uh, 1154. Uh, and Martin Buildings. Thirty-nine hundred and ninety-eight. That's the uh, down payment that repairs the ground. Okay. Yeah, that's the down payment that repairs the ground. Okay. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, we have Ken 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 Okay. 
And I believe that's it. How much is the payment on the cat? On the cat? Eleven something. Yeah. The cat. Eleven. Eleven thousand nine hundred and thirty two. Eighty seven. So did you understand? Or did, I thought we understood that was the just pay it off. No, no loan that man. I was under that impression myself. But, but I'm probably confused because we we're getting a grant from the state for, for the moment. Right. That that I understand. That's a payment. But this I thought was supposed to be just trade to trade the valve over and pay that off. No, no, it's never that. The, the best offer we got was from Pat, which was taking the Volvo and getting the $150,000 piece of equipment for about $50,000 for five years long. I'll have to see you later, Dave. I can't understand what you're saying. Okay. Okay. All those in favor of the warrant for number eight for uh, 71000 Eight hundred and forty-eight dollars and eighty-nine cents. Aye. Aye. Opposed. Aye. Abstain. Okay. Five zero zero. This is the payroll warrant for twenty five thousand two hundred and nine dollars and eighty four cents. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Uh, moved by Ken, seconded by Joe. All those in favor of the warrant say aye. 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 Opposed? Five zero zero. And another payroll warrant uh, for twenty three thousand seven hundred and thirty two dollars and ten cents. Could have a motion. So moved. Second. Moved by Joe, seconded by Mike. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Five zero zero. Abstain now. Okay, announcements. Any announcements? Yes, I have one for us. Yeah. Look, right, Friday morning, I have a little coming out, so on Friday afternoon, I was tested positive for COVID. Friday morning, I was in the office with Dave. He went and got his test, so I don't know what the office is going to do. Uh, we're all functioning. Uh, I was in the office today working separately, but uh, under the state rules, I can uh, be fully vaccinated. I can continue uh, without even feeling I tested. I uh, tested today. It's a test of caution. I just want to make sure everybody in the office is still open. I've contacted everybody I have any contact with. Um, one of them is already in fact maybe the other person just this afternoon or tomorrow um, whether or not it's positive. So turn it over to the other rules. Hopefully we can control this. I I just feel like a bad cold because I'm already getting better. Any other announcements? Any announcements? No. Okay. Public comments. Lynn, you wanna come up and talk about this? Yeah, where should I Right over here, right, in that, right there in that chair. Now I realize that, but facing in which direction? 
Uh, you want her to face that way? Uh, facing the board is fine. All right. Because I'll pick her up on the mic. Thank you. Okay. And okay. I wanted to, uh, to, if you could take the uh, a shot. Um, this is very important, what's on the card, because these are okay. uh, being uh, passed to all the people uh, to uh, sign on to. So just to show that. Lynn, do you want to? Oh, I. Yep, come talk. I, I was more comfortable over there, actually. Oh, yeah, I know you were. <laughs> we're going to make you a star. We're going to make you famous. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us what this is about. Okay. And so to start off, I'll, I'll look here. And this is the Vermont People's Climate Action Plan. And where did it come from? All right. Um, we have we uh, looked to the organization 350 Vermont was an active participant and uh, plus legislators and also uh, different committees up, um, in uh, Montpelier that were working on uh, energy issues and so the Vermont legislature will, re will reconvene in early January as we all know in 2022 and the major ag agenda has to be, it's imperative, the Climate Action Plan 2022. Vermonters are able to plan for a just transition from fossil fuels to renewable in a renewable energy economy. The state of Vermont now has a climate council, which has been formed in, uh, once not too uh, long ago, and uh, they have developed this just transition climate action plan that we're working very diligently. All right, and some of its major actions will be counting greenhouse gases accurately, establishing a 10-year weatherization program, especially for low-income families, developing and improving public transportation systems, which is crucial uh, for uh, different areas that are more of metropolitan areas throughout the state. De develop renewable energy solutions and metering, net metering, community solar, heat pumps, geothermal initiatives, pass invite and pass what do we need to have passed and this is the environmental justice bill and it's s senate 148 the weatherization bill senate 109 the green justice zones the house 273 these uh, are, are something that uh, the information is online we could go uh, and read it and uh, feel uh, that we are informed and uh, hopefully that uh, Vermont along with Massachusetts and New York, Massachusetts has been the first and, and really the first uh, innovator with uh, renewables. New York came in and now at least we're going to be in the top three, we hope. We hope. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Okay. Where did they get the information? Uh, that's from 350 Vermont um, uh, that compiled these. And where did they get the information is uh, checking with the various committees that I uh, just uh, indicated that are written on uh, the... So if they log into 350vermont.org, will they get the information? I, I, I think um, that is certainly the... Uh, stepping us all okay. into getting all that information yes okay good so. thank you very much and then where are these going to be all right and then uh, what we've been doing we people who have participated in this in, uh, endeavor <laughs> uh, that um, we've uh, been in areas of uh, in town where frequent many many people frequent but we certainly feel that it is imperative that people like 
yourselves on the select board. Really take this very uh, seriously and read uh, beyond. I, it seems that for, for some people, they feel that uh, they look at it and uh, that's that. But it, 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 it's a wealth of information, but we would like you to sign it and leave it maybe with the town clerk. Okay. And this is all to save the climate. Well, I, I will say that this is a step, and that many steps have to be taken. And this is, by all means, an important, crucial one. I'm not to, I mean, I think this is a good thing, but there's one thing that really kind of concerns me. Is it's counterproductive to what you're uh, selling. Develops public transportation system in urban center along major transportation corridors that meets the needs of rural and low-income populations. So I so, think in this in this uh, case, I this don't know transportation. How, to, uh, how does that, that save the climate? We, because we're not using fossil fuels, gasoline. We're using electric. So you have your electric cars, your hybrids, and these come more into play. And the fossil fuels, gasoline driven, get phased out. Clean energy. Thank you. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Any other public comments? Yes. Can we sit there? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Yep. I'm Kathy Cardiff. I'm the chair of the Shaftesbury Cemetery Committee. And I just wanted to let you know, it's on the website, but um, on Saturday, October 2nd, we're going to be doing some work in the center cemetery, Shaftesbury Center Cemetery. Um, some volunteers from Vermont Old Cemetery Association are going to come down and we're going to be, they're going to lead us in uh, straightening and repairing some of the stones in there um, and cleaning some of the stones. So we're gathering supplies um, to have up there that day and have put out some information to in the Vermont News Guide and stuff like that to get volunteers because the more volunteers that we have, more work we can get done. So, and since we really don't have any mechanism to repair stones in the cemeteries, this is a good opportunity to do that. So I wanted to make sure that you're well aware of it. And um, I'm going to work with Mike to get some of the, some of the supplies that we need up there. And Dave's ordering. He's ordered like the cleaning stuff and the po epoxy to um, so hopefully this will be an annual thing we can move around um, there's some there's some old small cemeteries that are in really rough shape um, they're, they're all on private land most of them but um, nothing saying we can't we can't do that you know, the land. The one is the landowners were okay with it, right? I mean, yeah. It would be nice to preserve yeah. that because it is history. Yeah, there's a great one um, over on Myers Road. It's completely enclosed with a, a stone wall and a fence, a gate, and a wrought wow. iron gate. It's completely grown over. And the longer we wait, you know, these stones fall over yeah. and then they, mm -hmm. they go underground. You know, they get covered over and then it's not so easy to find them. We is, have is this the one on East Road you're talking about? No. Myers Road. Oh, Myers. There's, and there's the one on East Road, because uh, I see the sign that says Shaster, but it's, it's uh, not uh, the one that uh, you're referring to. No. The one on East Road is Maple Hill Cemetery. That is one that the town takes care of. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's Waite Cemetery, which is lower on East Road that is also a town maintained cemetery as is Shaftesbury Center, Shaftesbury Village and Grandview Cemetery just outside of North Bennington. There are what 17 Dave right? Yes. 
I think we're like, I think it's like 14, you know, we've been looking at, um, you, you know, there's yeah. a couple that are just private yeah. and they're one family that right. they were buried on their own land and so we don't tend to count that. One out in Shasta, there's one of the ones out in Shasbury Hollow. Um, we did this with VOCA a couple of years ago um, and that is on private land but it it's um, the town has to mow it twice a year because um, they were petitioned to take it over because it was abandoned so even though it's on private land we still maintain that yep. twice a year so, Good. it'll be on the website it is okay. it is Good. thank you very much thank, thank you. you thank you uh, mike i got a call from citizen today that the Center, Center Shasbury Cemetery, the road that comes in off of Route 7, it's not a lot. I went up there myself. It's not a lot, but there's a couple spots down by the road, up on top of the hill, and are down around the corner by the maple tree and like that. It's a little touching up with gravel. All right. I mean, nothing bad, but a couple guys up there, a couple, three hours. We'll take care of it. Two yards of gravel. Any other public comments? Nope. Okay, Treasury Report. Yeah, just my email on the website. I have a report from Melanie. I'm not going to be able to attend this evening. All right. I'm just uh, pointing out that on the uh, cash flow, uh, which is exactly the money total of the taxes we see. Currently above 600,000 or 8.97 total. Uh, as you want to remember, taxes have been November 10th this year. That is a Wednesday, not a Friday. Uh, if you wait until Friday, you will be delivering. She's aware of the problem with the mail delivery. That is, that is why she accepts the post orders. If you wait until the last week of May, she advises you to have the post office hand cancel your own book. Uh, also, lots of people are using the young online option this year, and she highly recommends it for people who want to do some recent payment. Uh, she suggests using the new check option since it would cost her five million dollars. She is also receiving uh, back month deliverable bills and hearing from people who never received theirs. Uh, please remember that you are responsible for your taxes and your income if you do not receive a bill. Particularly important this year with mail delivery the way it is. If you haven't received the bill, call the treasurer. And just look at your address and see whether something needs to be corrected. Uh, you can be emailed a copy if you don't want to just email it. Uh, going to the reserve funds. I just want to point out. Right, what you want to point out was you go into the ARPA funding category. We currently have the first half of our funding, which is $512,800. Uh, uh, we will match that by the minimum of next year, so we will have the uh, $1,025,000 for our project projects. And then we'll go with the cash flow. Uh, yeah, this is the minimum month of there isn't a lot on here except for showing the tax since the date of uh, 610000 Please be aware that the date has changed for the taxes are due. So, if you haven't gotten the bill, it's your responsibility to make sure you contact Town Hall. Okay. DPW. DPW. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. How are you? All right. What's going on? So, um, on there, on the agenda, it has 
a uh, grant-made equipment purchase, right? This one. Yep, that's it right there. Yep. From BCRC, and it's a municipal road grant-made program equipment purchase. And it's something that we can apply for, and it's due in October. And on the back of that, it shows a list of the, the equipment that is eligible to apply for. And I don't know, did, did you look at it? Ken? No, I didn't even know what anything about it, Mike. Well, just I'll go over it quickly. Yeah, the first one's a roller. We already got a roller for the grader. Second one is a leaf blower. We already have a leaf blower. We purchased that a couple years ago. Um, hydro seeder is on there. Jumping jack, we are all set with. We have a working one right now. What is the jumping jack? Uh, it's a compactor for Push for, for, for tight ditches. Yeah, yeah okay. for compacting gravel. Okay, around I never knew it was called that. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, that's they got one. It's a jumping jack. It's for real small ditches. Yeah. A plate compactor won't go into that. The plate is for surface, and the jumping jack does the like yeah. like trenches and right, stuff. Right. Right. A lot of them are mounted on equipment now. The other one is a trap. Man, Mike, you're getting a little touchy. You're getting too, too damn I don't, uh, yeah. fancy for putting them on a machine. I yeah. say a lot of them are now. I, I know, but Those that's fun to hold. You, 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 yeah. you, 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 you do too much of that, we won't need you guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, there's the next one on there is a tractor mounted disc for moving high, that's nothing I'm interested in. Um, the hay, the hay baler shredder we already have, that was purchased okay. right before yeah. I started, so I think it was through this grant. I'm not sure, but it was a grant that paid for that one. Do we have a hydro seeder? We don't have a hydro seeder. Uh, it'll, save, it'll save a lot of labor if you so, get one. Yep. Oh, well, yeah. on the last, the last, um, which I, I really like the hydro seeder, but talking with the guys and stuff, the last um, thing on this list is a stone screen, and I went to the town of Dover and I printed these off so that you guys could look at it and talking with the guys and everything and that's what the, that's what they would want to see right now us apply for is something like this um, what that is, is is so you know how we stone line the ditches yeah. now and everything so if we, if we have to go back and excavate that stone we're just throwing it all away we don't have nothing to, to, re to recycle it oh. So if you have some, like the town of Dover, they made this. They, the guy actually sent me all the, the list of everything. Yeah, the prices are probably a little shy because this was back in 2018. But it's it's all the um, materials to build that, and they they also use it for uh, their winter sand in the winter time. They don't put any salt in it, so they use that grizzly to you know scoop the chunks out and stuff. So there's a lot of uses for something like that. And and on here that it has that and the, the estimated cost is around six grand, fifty nine hundred. Um, I think I think that's what I would like to apply for. So that that's what I was proposing. And it says right here that if something was fabricated by the municipality, you can use the in kind labor as a calculation of the required twenty percent match too. I read that right. So what are you saying? You want all this equipment or you want just some? No, we only can apply for one. For right? one. <laughs> yeah. I want to, this year I'd like to apply to get the materials for the stone screen. It's a material screen. You could use it for, it's easier just to. I think you'll save more time in, in, in cost if you get the hydro seeder date, uh, you know, Mike. I mean, because we have the, we have the hay baler. We have the hay baler now. Right. If but we you, get the hydro seeder, I mean, you have to purchase, you know, all that tack and seed and everything. Right. But you, if I, you, what you're using now, if you take the hydro seeder, you don't need the that uh, I don't know what the hell, that malt, that cloth you put down. Yeah, the matting. The yeah. matting. Oh, I'm not disagreeing with you. That's at all. Not, that's beastly expensive. Plus, you got the time of putting it down. Save the time and labor. The yeah, time I and just, labor. I just feel like to the hydro seeder. You take all that out. You, you can stabilize your slopes. Do your seeding. Yeah. All one mo all one motion. So you save the labor. You save the material. 
I mean, you're huh? still you're not you're still buying material though. You still got to buy the seed. You got to right. buy the when you when you when you're doing it this way, you're doing put down seed, fertilizer, then mulch. That's th three operations. For the hydro seeder, you're doing it all once, and you don't need to buy the the matting. Yeah. That's not. I mean, I I I understand what you're saying. I just see the stone screen being a little more usable at the. Well, time. how often do you do so dig up stone ditches, though? Well, it's. I mean, you can do that next year. Yeah, and then what are we going to do with everything? Just waste all that stone? No. Well, how, how many you dug up this year? Um, I mean, you go clean an end of a culvert that was stoned or something. You get a load of stone right there. You could run through that. So I don't know. you you that's your department, but I I think you'd be further ahead with the hydro seeder myself, and you're going to spend less money. Is that what I looked up? Was what seven thousand dollars? They said that. Or seven hundred gallon? Seventy-five hundred estimated. For yeah. Hydro and how seeders. much is the screener? About six grand in materials and labor. Can I say something? Yeah, sir. Um, I think you'll find that if you get the stone screener, you use it you know, for a lot of other things. I think a lot of that ditch, uh, ditching material would be taken out. stone screen too because it's it's just it is coming hard to find spots to dump and a lot of that material that we dump some of it you could screen through and actually probably reuse some of it somewhere so oh like i say it's just you 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 know what's got to do the job and i'm not just here to argue with you maybe next it. time we apply for the hydro seeder i think you're gonna save money with it if you do it but it's your that's your call i'm not gonna Stay here and be a stick in the mud. <laughs> I appreciate that. So I've always, go ahead. I've always wondered what you do with all the material that comes out of the ditches and how you reuse that. So, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of people take it for fill, and it's becoming harder and harder to find spots to dump. And then this year has been tremendously difficult because it's so wet. So you can't like some people want a couple loads, but you can't get that behind their house because it's so wet. So, yeah. It's going to be challenging. The stone lining you're doing now is using larger gravel. Yeah, That's larger stones yeah. for erosion. So this is... Sorry. Do we have a motion? Uh, so we can have a discussion. We got until October 8th to... Submit this. Please fill out, sign, and return letter. We'll make a page yeah. October eighth. I was going to say I make a motion that we have a discussion about this. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. I think Joe, you should really should make a motion one way or the other. To Oh, I, I thought we were making a motion to yes. discuss it. No, <laughs> just make a motion to accept the argument. Well, sorry about that, Art. Okay. And then we'll have a discussion. Okay, so I make a motion to discuss the, the, uh, the screener. No. Second. It's a discuss. no, you make a discussion to accept or, or reject the intent, and then we have a discussion about whether either or an any of both. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna make it either accept or reject this, and then we'll have a discussion. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make a motion to accept the stone. Okay. okay. I think the letter of intent. The letter of intent. Okay. Yes. And you're gonna second yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Sorry about okay. that. That's all right. 
So right. now the discussion is uh, about this and whether we will accept, whether we are going to apply. There's no guarantee that we get it, right? It says there was another thing in here. Um, uh, what was it? I read it a minute ago. Do not make any purchases before you. Oh, you will receive a notice to proceed letter if your request has been approved. Do not make any purchases before you receive that letter. So no, you can't do anything until you hear back from them, anyways, whether we are approved or not for that. Now, one thing that I got request that screener thing is you, it's already made, and you've got to build it. No, we are going to build it. I have all the dimensions and everything and material list right here. Build that. Okay. From another town. Uh, that's in Dover at the town garage. Okay. Somebody tell me to read screen off. <clears throat> Would you have different screens? I don't know what it is. It's just, it, it's like rails you put down here. We were, we were talking about space doing something certain. different on that. And then when you, when you, you dump it up here with the loader, it dumps on it and then the, the dirt falls through it and the stone was off the path. Right. Would you have different screens for different filtration types? Uh, I think there's, there's, really they probably make different. that. Looks like it's all, it's just that one size. Is just you one. can't change it. But what they're doing is they, they'll make that, because the stone you put in them dishes is what, like four inch? Four plus. Four to six. Six, yeah. Eight. And then what they'll do is they'll set this so like maybe five inches or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the, the, you know, the big stone, the stone goes off here. It drops down. Right. It seems like with that the new they've been doing though, it's bigger stone than it was in the past, right? I mean, it just, it's more, so it'd be a shame to get rid of that, that material now. Yeah, we would reuse that for... Yeah, because it's got to be more expensive than just the run of the middle grab. It is. It's, it's, yeah. it's actually too expensive. <coughs> so this is just a letter of intent that goes to yeah. the state Looks like for us to apply. Yes. Yeah. Right, Gabe? Yeah, you should consider this the application. Yeah, okay. okay. Right. So we haven't gotten the money yet. We're just applying. Yeah, this is just an application. That's all we're doing at this point. Right. Well, it's you know, like I say, Mike, it'll be either either that screen or the hydro seat is what you need. I think right okay. now we should go for the screen and then if we didn't have the hay mulcher, I would wouldn't even think about it. But we got the hay mulcher. The way we're doing it is working. I understand it's a little bit more work with the matting, but I think right now that screen, some that dead screen would come in handy. Oh, I'm not saying it wouldn't be handy. It's just a question of, to me, it's either or. Yeah, I agree with you. Joe? No, I, I think we need to go with something that we're going to use. I mean, if the uh, screen or something that we're going to be using now versus and by the way, what is the benefits of the screener as far as uh, the cost savings? So Ver like versus that's versus the hydro seeder, that's right. Really, like that's, that's what you're doing, uh, Joe. Is is when you you get a ditch over the years, you got a stone ditch, mm -hmm. and over the years they're going to fill up with silt. So when you dig them up, you've got two choices: you either screen the stone like he's saying, yeah, which in which case you can reuse it. Right. Or you throw it away, and, we, and then you got to buy all new stone. And we paid money for that That's stone, right. yeah. so all that all that stone is just getting dug up and thrown away because you know gravel ditches do fill up quick over we're time. We're paying money to replace the stuff we just threw so away. So we had it's, if we dug yeah. a ditch up and we had a stockpile, we would reuse that stone. Yeah. I mean, either way, that would save a ton of money. And the hydro seeder will save a ton of money. So it's a win-win, no matter which, which way you flip the coin. But it's, I think it's really going to be up to, to date, to really up to you at this point. You, you know best what you're going to 
yeah. and how you're going to use it. So the screener itself too is pretty low maintenance. It just sits there. You know, you don't have to. It's not going to break down. Or no, yeah. Once we build it, it's we're going to make a spot for it, and that's where it'll live. And that's what they did. And you can't tell in the picture, but they actually it's sitting on top of um, a platform, and then under where all this falls is. Probably, I don't know, actually there it is, you can see yeah, it. Right there. See the wall? Yeah. So all their stone falls Stone falls off of here. And then they Dump scoop it out, out here, here and the stone, stone, stone goes down here. So now the whole idea of that is so They did can, a nice job of that. So you can take that apart and move it. No. No. That ain't going to be moved. That's so it's on the base? Yep. And so they back up here and pick up the stone that comes off of here. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 they did. Yeah, Dover yeah, did yeah, a really yeah. nice job with yeah. that. I thought we I saw, I saw it. <laughs> for a moment, I thought it was something you brought from job site to job site. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 you could you use the other half when you got the big stone on one side? Can you use the silt and stuff on the road tops again, or is it too? You, depending on like, sometimes you dig a ditch and there's a lot of gravel in there, so like you could you could use it. You got gotcha, you yeah. for something. Yeah, but yeah, I mean every every spot is different, different so. Yeah. Yeah. So again, we're just applying for the grant. Just applying for it at the moment. Yeah. You ready to vote? Right? Art? Yes. Okay. All those in favor of applying for the grant, say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Stain? Okay. Do you want us all to sign, Dave, or just one? It says authorized representatives. That would be our. Okay. The last check um, box is the stone screen to clean out. Okay. So, Mike, it's about 4000 to fix that garage. It takes a little more. Is it that part of the segment for the other side? Down through that. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> uh, cat finance resolution. This is essentially what the board's already voted to approve. This is a pack of paperwork that I received from Pat. This is essentially the side of the bill that we are creating through the process of finance that we've previously approved. Okay. We don't need a, do we need a motion? We should have a motion for it to accept uh, the governmental entity of the police department. This is a kind of finance. Uh, and then in the center, all the notes at the table to be signed. And then we'll take the next one. Not at the bottom. No, that's the I see it here where it says sign. Yep. So we need a motion? Yes. Do we hear a motion? I motion to uh, sign the cat finance agreement. Second. Okay. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Okay. Well, you do have to add one thing the agenda. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I see that. What else you got, Mike? That's all I have. All right. Here's the whole stack of things that I have. Okay. I'm going to put them in Dave's office anyways. Unless you guys have any questions Any other about questions anything? from Mike? Uh, you haven't started grading the road yet. You have? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. I didn't notice any. I thought I'd been around enough so I'd seen them. <laughs> Where have you been? Yeah. East Road, Maple Hill. Dick Road. Blueberry Hill, West Mountain Road. Blueberry Hill and West Mountain got done last week. Okay. I, I didn't even, I had been up there this week, but. No, East Road's next and Maple Hill's next. Okay. We're in Hidden Valley right now. Um, yeah, where was around, 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 been all over the place. All the hollow is done. I don't know if you've been out. No, I haven't been out there. All the roads in the hollow are done. Um, we got to do Rowland tomorrow, Madison, Horton Hill again, and then this, and then West Mountain where Weavers working. Yeah, we'll do that next week. That culvert that they put in out there by Cody's place. Yeah, that new culvert that we were put in. Yeah. What did they put in that the three foot of material in they, the culvert? They call it E stone. Environmental stone. And all it is is the same stuff that came out of the ground that was there. It has to match the river channel. So it's the same material as the riverbed on the inlet side and the downlet side. <laughs> That's what it is. It's two foot, I think they were like two foot stones and then like a gravelly material. It's, it's pretty much the same, but it's like the gravel you get from Barney's. With big stone in it, and there's no concrete bed, no no footings on it, or concrete footings in that culvert. No. Nope. So what happens to the culvert when the, when the flood comes down and takes all the dirt out of the inside? We'll find out, I guess. Right. I I don't have to find out. I know where it's going. It's it got two, it's got two tow walls that get that are buried three feet, one in the front, one in the back, and that's so there is a plate or something goes down. And, okay. All right. right. Okay. <laughs> I was just thinking they injured themselves right out of it. No, it was three foot tow walls on the front and the back. All right, because I mean, you, you, you cannot put something like that. I don't care what your paperwork says. You I cannot put something like that in the ground it. without embedding it in the ground. Yeah. Because Mother Nature will beat you every time. Okay. That was all my question was. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Art. Art? Everything's all good now? It is. Good to hear. Now we know where that line is. <laughs> all right. Okay, thanks, Mike. You guys have a good night. Yeah, you too. too. See ya. We have one more item, uh, which is approval of a liquor license for an event. Uh, it's Madison Brewery. Uh, they're going to do a wedding uh, on uh, the 25th of this month. Uh, do I have a motion? So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? Where, where is it? It's in Chatsbury. I understand that, but they don't We're not telling you. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Were you invited? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> You want to go? Yeah, yeah, I, thought, I thought we were supposed to know where it was. That was all. Uh, do we have to tell them where it is? Probably not a good idea, right? It's not at the school, is it? No, 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 no. It's at a private residence in town. Oh. In town. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. No. Okay. That's signed by the town, town clerk, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any other business? Action items, we don't have any. I don't think. We're not going to have executive session. No? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes? I think we should. Okay. Uh, and. I know. How are we going to do uh, that? Mike, you can unplug. And I believe uh, Marlon's probably gone downstairs. Uh, and we're using to get the continue to be able to transfer and just lock out the meeting. Okay. Maybe we'll come back for a vote. Just carry it. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, 
that will give me a chance to work with the audio, see if I can't get it clearer for at home people. That would be great. Yeah. Um, oops. Yeah. I guess oops. Oops. Got, got rid of them. All right. <laughs> I'm still with them. No, they're still with us here. So we're okay. going to go down. We're all going to go downstairs. And okay. Do we have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Do anything else, David? Do you want to talk about that? No, we need a motion to go to the executive session. session um, so we advertise uh, we have the blessing of the state to appoint somebody for an elected position since it was not filled at, a, at the last public election so we have we advertised it on the website and so on and so forth we had two applicants uh, one of them came in for an interview last Friday uh, Gina uh, Thanks. Jinx uh, came in, was interviewed. Uh, she already works in the office. She knows what uh, the job entails. Quite excited about it, and would like uh, is quite excited that it might be a full time job in the future. So, um, so I guess I would entertain a look. And we had discussion about it in uh, executive session. So, uh, I guess I would entertain a motion. Uh, from somebody that we appoint, Gina Tinks, to the listeners, to fill the listeners position, make a position in the office. So moved. Second. There's, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> aye. Opposed? So carried. Five zero zero. Uh, any other business come before us? No. Okay. Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. By Ken. Second by Joe. Joe. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you, gentlemen, very much.